Thanks for joining us for KBOI 2 News Midday. I'm Kelsey Anderson. Now to your top 11 stories at 11 o'clock. A school bus reportedly crashed into a vehicle this morning. Boise police says it happened at Victory and Trabuco around 730 AM. A spokesman for BPD says no one was hurt and the bus driver was cited for following too closely. A driver is OK after running off the road and plummeting into a creek this morning. This happened around 845 near Roby Creek on Highway 21. Boise County dispatchers say the car went off the road because of bad road conditions due to winter weather. Secretary of State John Kerry is in Paris today meeting with the French president. The visit comes as France intensified attacks against ISIS militants responsible for the carnage. Here in the U.S., more than 20 governors say they're opposed to letting refugees from Syria into the states. That includes Governor Butch Otter. Officials say at least one of the Paris attackers may have entered Europe among a wave of Syrian refugees. And a dozen, of, dozen members of the Treasure Valley's French community gathered at the State House to mourn the deaths in the terrorist attacks. And while they are still shaken, they say they will not live in fear. Two men from France tell KBOI their family and friends who still live in Paris are still grieving and healing from the devastation. However, they do not believe these attacks of terrorism justify refusing to allow Syrian refugees to come to America. Not to generalize, I would say uh, all the Syrian are not all terrorists. We shouldn't put all the terrorism uh, in the same pot that other people just because they are hiding in, the, in the, their community. Both men say they are very thankful for all the support they've received from this community. And we saw our second sweep of Treasure Valley snow early this morning. The white stuff fell between around 3 and 6 o'clock around Boise. Roads remained wet during the morning commute, but there were no reports of crashes on the interstate. Two new crosswalks are coming to 12th Avenue Road in Nampa. That's after city council members approved the construction last night. 12th Avenue is one of the busiest roads in the city and pedestrians we talked with say it's tough to cross. It is at times because they just want to keep going or sometimes you'll have cars stopped at all the areas on the intersection except one and one will come by and just keep on going even though there's cars there that they can see stop for a reason. The new crosswalks will be installed between Sherman and Dewey and between 10th Street South and 12th Street South. A new signal at Gowan Road will be turned on tomorrow. Tonight, Gowan will be reduced to one lane in each direction at the intersection of ID4 westbound. Crews will activate the signal and it should be working by tomorrow morning's commute. The traffic signal is being added to improve the flow of traffic through the newly constructed Gowan Interchange. Ridge to Rivers wants to know what you want to see happen to the popular trail system in the Treasure Valley. They're holding a workshop tonight to get your feedback. That meeting runs from 5.30 to 8.30 at the Boise Depot on East Over Terrace. And the city of Nampa says the pipes that the city's water flows through need updating. And it's going to cost more than $60 million over the next 10 years. Tonight, the city is holding a community open house to talk about proposed increases to water rates and fees. It will be held at the Nampa Civic Center on 3rd Street South from 4 to 6 p.m. A group of snowboarders is headed to court arguing a ski only rule at a Utah resort. The group says the ban on their sport at Alta Ski Area is discriminatory. An appeals court in Denver is set to hear from that group today after a federal court judge in Utah dismissed the case last year. Alta says it has the right to make their own business decisions, like choosing who they want on their mountain and provide a snowboard-free experience. Almost a quarter million Idahoans are expected to travel this Thanksgiving, most of them going by car. And AAA has a nice announcement. The American Automobile Association says gas prices next Thursday will be the lowest Thanksgiving prices we've seen since 2008. According to AAA, the average price per gallon right now is $2.20. A year ago, we were paying about a dollar more per gallon, $3.14.